very good morning to one and all good morning children welcome to the e learning classes so today we are going to discuss children about the intermediate secondary economics as in the previous classes we discussed about the third chapter so today is the last part of the third chapter in the previous classes already we discussed about the national income we discussed about the reasons for the inequalities of the uh, distribution of income and wealth we discussed about the poverty unemployment and today we are going to discuss about the remedial measures remedial measures of poverty and unemployment this is a very short very small topic children okay so in the previous classes children we discussed about the poverty and unemployment and we discussed also about the consequences of poverty and unemployment we discussed about the causes of the poverty and unemployment today we are going to discuss about the remedial measures the measures to control this poverty and unemployment and this is a very important question one or the other year this question was asked compulsorily children for 10 marks so you have to pay concentration for this so first trickle down theory government had started with the different problems of the uh, poverty and unemployment government uh, started the theory the found the theory called as trickle down effect to theory what is this trickle down effect trickle down effect it means the one solution for many problems as we all know that the poverty and unemployment both are inseparable we cannot separate if a person is unemployed he is poor okay we cannot separate these two concepts so the government tried to find it out in the solution that the person should get the employment opportunities and with the same they can they can able to remove the poverty also so this is called as a trickle down effect policy okay then there are nearly four categories of programs are there to reduce this poverty and unemployment in the country the government started the first program resources and income development program the first one is resources and income development program second one is special area development program third one is work programs for the creation of employment opportunities and the fourth one is minimum needs program so let us discuss one by one all these programs children the first one is resource and income development program for the rural poor by the uh, sentence itself it is uh, indicating that this is a program that are helpful for the resource development and the income development program for the rural poor to increase their income levels so in the year so we can say that since 1970 the government uh you know the government has to, uh, done number of programs children number of programs have uh, have been uh, in uh, what you call uh, in operation to remove uh, or to improve the resources and income development programs so what are the resources or the income development programs and that to this is a program related to only rural poor so under this one children the first program is sfda the first program is sfda that is small farmers development agency the first program is sfda that is under the that by the help of this the government tried to improve the income levels of small farmers okay then marginal farmers and agricultural laborers agency mfal so full form is marginal farmers and marginal farmers and agricultural agricultural labor agency so this is the second program so what we are understanding here the so first program is related to the small farmers second program is related to the marginal farmers so these people they get the what you call they can improve their income uh, and they are also improve their resources children followed by the third one already we discussed that one irdp what is irdp integrated rural development program we discussed children about this one integrated irdp integrated rural development program so this is called as irdp so these are the four or uh, three programs children that was undertaken by the government to improve the resources and income development for the rural poor i hope it is clear you have to remember sfda mfal and the irdp and their full forms 
Okay, so all these programs, children, these two are the programs that aims to improve the income development. Whereas the IRDP, you know <coughs> very well, integrated rural development to improve the resources and the income of the rural poor. So that is the first program. Second program. The second one is special area development program. But the name itself is indicating special area. Special area means that is it is uh, specifically for certain areas that are very backward and because of that many people those who are related to those areas become uh, what you call become more poor and unemployed during certain conditions during certain seasons. So what are the special areas are there the special areas are like the drought prone areas the drought prone areas are for mine areas the special areas like hilly areas that hilly areas that are very remote one many people the tribes are lives in the hilly areas but because uh, of the lack of all the facilities the people the resources their incomes are very very less children like that we can find children the desert areas the desert areas also the special area development program where we find that uh, throughout the year the, it is very difficult to get the income so for these areas specifically these areas certain incomes this programs are uh, laid down by the government so, what are those programs, children? The programs like Drought Prawn Area Program. The name itself is indicating Drought. Drought Prawn Area Program. So, this is a program. Clearly, we are understanding that this program is related to the drought areas. That areas that are having what you call the scarcity of rainfall, lack of proper water resources, the land gets spoiled because of that, the persons, the people, those who depend on that land, they get a very less income. So these are the programs that are launched by the government to improve the conditions of these people under these programs. Second one children, desert area program. That is desert. So by this Easily we are understanding that this is a program that relate to this one. So desert development program you can take. Desert development program. So easily we are understanding that this is a program that are related for the development of deserts. The, all those conditions that are there in the desert area. Followed by hilly area program. What is this hilly area program? This is a program that are related to those areas that are very remote backward and especially in the hilly areas. As you all know that hilly areas are very backward because of the lack of proper uh, transportation facilities, lack of proper roads. They are, they are just, we can say that they are just cut off with the normal lives. So the people, they suffered a lot. So these are the programs specifically for some of the areas to improve the resource and the income development for the rural poor. This is the second one. That is a special area development program. <coughs> now, what is the third one? Work programs for the creation of supplementary employment. Supplementary employment opportunities. Supplementary employment opportunities. <coughs> already children, we discussed about this one. Supplementary employment opportunities like, what are those programs are there? We discussed, this is also children, NREP. National Rural Employment Program. We discussed already children. National Rural Employment Program. National Rural Employment Program. This is a program that was launched to create the employment opportunities for the rural poor. Then followed by RLEGP. Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program. Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program. So, in this name itself is indicating that this is a program for whom? This is a program for rural people. So, rural landless. Which type of people? Those who are landless people. So, those people employment guarantee <coughs> program. Followed by children, food for work program. Already we discussed about this one. Food for work program. And then PMI, PMI, UPEP. What is this one? Prime Minister. PM stands for Prime Minister. Prime Minister Integrated Urban, Integrated Urban, Prime Minister Integrated Urban Poverty, P stands for Poverty, Eradication Program, Poverty Eradication Program. 
what we are understanding here that this is a program that are launched under the name of the prime minister so this is a program integrated urban poverty eradication that means not only in rural areas so now in the urban areas also we find poor people are there so it is the removal of the poverty from the rural areas okay children so these are the programs for the creation of supplementary employment opportunities and then later on in the we can find that is mahatma gandhi national rural employment program was also launched you know that 100 days program that is uh, employment opportunities given by the government to the unemployed people so this is a third one work programs nrep rdgp food for work program pmi upep you have to remember children all these one because this is a important 10 marks question for you next one minimum needs program minimum needs program children minimum needs program shrimati indira gandhi shrimati indira gandhi when she was a prime minister she launched 20 points program she launched 20 points program and under this 20 points program various programs were undertaken children that is aimed to improve this program is aimed to improve the consumption levels of the poor people this program is to improve the consumption level of poor people and raise their standard of living is it clear aim to improve the consumption level of the poor people and to improve their standard of living so what are those programs are there children so this 20 points program it includes elementary education it includes elementary education compulsorily there should be an education an elementary education should be there for each and every one in the country children with the education the most important thing is that health priority should be given for the improvement of the health and health providing health facilities to the all the people okay and then afterwards water supply proper drinking water supply to almost all the urban areas and all the rural areas then roads that is very important one followed by electrification followed by electrification then housing housing and seventh one is nutrition so what are all these children children if you look at this uh, table <coughs> clearly what we find that these 20 point program each are related to one other another like for example how we can get children because these are nothing but children the remedial measures to remove the poverty so the most important thing what we discuss the causes of poverty one of the causes we discuss as illiteracy unemployment causes is illiteracy so compulsory there should be an improvement in the education so education with education compulsory health is a very important criteria without a healthy life we cannot go for a good job so health is very important our health depends on water supply proper water supply for the domestic purpose and also for the industrial and agricultural purposes followed by roads roads play a very important role for the transportation of goods and services then electrification for industries for agricultural levels and also for domestic purposes then housing very important one and at last children nutrition compulsory everyone they should concentrate on their nutrition so these are all children we can say as the programs that are taken by the government to remove this poverty and unemployment from the country okay so along with this one children when you check your textbook also after this you can find one table is there where you can find number of programs that are launched by the government to remove the poverty and unemployment go through that table children is very big table is there go through that table also so with this we completed our third chapter okay so overall up to now four chapters are completed children okay i hope the lesson is clear to all of you very short lesson very small lesson it is there children now it's your work you have to go through the textbook if you have any other resources go uh, to that resources follow that resources and then children uh, complete your notes okay so it's a time to leave children thank you thank you one and all we'll uh, meet very soon in the next class with our fifth chapter agricultural sector 
that is a very vast chapter children to complete it in this chapter we took nearly 4 to 5 periods 4 to 5 classes but in agriculture sector nearly 10 classes are there children to complete that lesson so we will meet very soon children in the next one in the next video you will get the children about the agriculture sector so till that time it's the time to leave children thank you thank you one and all thank you children